I love cats, so don't write. But our lovable felines may be carrying a parasite, and Elise Coulter found it can affect your brain. Elise? Yeah, Jack, well, the parasite... I Furry friend. She's one of our producers, furry friend, and she is lovable, Jack. <laughs> Angela says we <laughs> sensationalize things. This is a killer. No, no beautiful. Mm. Is this, is that, so is that where the term crazy cat lady came from? I mean, oh. I don't know if there's scientific proof in that, but I think that that's, you know, kind of what they were looking at to see. Yeah. But, you know, it's important to reiterate, I just want to, you know, that only those with a suppressed immune system, those are most at risk mm -hmm. for this parasite and, and for it to become a severe infection. Uh, most of us don't even know that we're infected yeah. by this and don't really have any symptoms of it. Now, while there are several studies looking into the parasite and the neurological diseases at this point, though, there's no scientific proof. They're saying that there's a little mm. bit of a correlation and a little bit of a relation, but not necessarily it can cause okay. at this point anyway. Nothing All sensational. Right. Well, so a you star. can still love your furry friend. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Thanks, Elise.